up? It's been quite a busy year of gigs and festivals for us ragamuffins, but we ain't done just yet. The first ever vlog that we put out on this channel was three gigs in one week. And in this video, we're gonna do two in two nights. Tomorrow, we're gonna see the front bottoms, but tonight, it's the Mice and Men, baby. The bands like of Mice and Men don't come to Oxford very often, so it's always good to make the effort to go. Although that said, we didn't really need much convincing. I guess we'll see you in the pit. Russian stand-up, man. No, they'll have to wait, they'll let us Pilot. Ah, oh. 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 Russian stand-up, everyone. Russian. A triangle. <laughs> <laughs> We're here, O2 Academy. It's fucking cold, it's December. Let's go inside, let's get a drink and enjoy of Mice and Men. Caskets. I think we missed defects because Plus Jenny was a little bit late, but... Excited? Very Let's go! It's going to get very warm very quickly. It is. Let's fucking go. Cheers. And one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I'm right, James. <laughs>
Right, here we are. It's after of my and Men in Oxford. My last gig of the year, had a fantastic time. Incredible. One thing I've really noted is that we've always said Oxford's had a bit of a dead music scene where the old Mice and Men set, people were so active. There was so much moshing, crowd surfing, just so much participation with that, which I found so cool. People just look happy to be there. And that's something that I really took notice in while just enjoying the gig, I guess. We got there just as Casket started. It was a lot better than Download Festival. Uh, the, the sound in the Download tent when we saw them was just abysmal. So the excitement I had kind of put them off for me a little bit, but then going to see them actually in a proper just stage and proper gig space, um, so much better. The sound quality is great. They were phenomenal live, had a great presence to it. I knew a lot more of the songs than I thought I did as well, which is always quite a nice one to have. Um, absolutely fantastic. Really, really good evening. We've had so many fucking good gigs this year. And now I've got to start racking my brains, start listing them a little bit and thinking what was my gig of the year as we head into our awards coming soon.
Now, if you have missed it, we did recently launch the Ragamuffin Club after hitting our 1,000 subscribers and everything. So there's a link in the description down there. Now, come and join the club. Come be a part of it. Talk gigs, talk music, talk anything you want to, I guess, with us. Ask us questions. We can have polls. We can have different things in there. Just come and be part of the discussion and we can all talk about music that we absolutely love together. Subscribe to the channel. We've still got more sick stuff coming. Although it's the end of 23 and we've had a fantastic year. Big stuff planned for 2024. Come along for the journey. So if Mice and Men was a lot of fun last night. It's always good fun getting uh, a big group of us into a small venue like uh, the upstairs at O2 Academy Oxford. Because then wherever you go, there's like a familiar face. If you're like knocking about in the pit, you'll always like bump into one of your mates or something. And it kind of feels like a, a takeover. It's always like we've kind of taken over the venue. Tonight is a different vibe entirely. It's going to be the front bottoms. Uh, a bit of a surprise, this one. It was only announced about two weeks ago. Tonight's show was originally meant to be in Sheffield, but uh, the venues had to close for whatever reason. So they've rescheduled it to here. They've told anyone with a ticket for the Sheffield show uh, to keep hold of it and to use it for the Oxford one, uh, which would be fine if Oxford wasn't about a four-hour drive away from Sheffield. But hey-ho. I've got a front bottoms gig that I wasn't expecting to go to, so... Yorkshire! Yorkshire!